Hi, welcome to the Triffid Dojo tutorials number four. So you've watched the other three, you've got little bits and pieces. This one's a whole new one, lots of different stuff covering all of the different techniques. Make sure that you tune in, pay attention to everything and give it your very best. Us. I'm going to teach you now how to do your belt in three easy steps. Three super easy steps. Are you ready? Let's do this. Step one. You find the center of the belt. And you place the center of the belt under your belt. Or wherever you want to wear it. And you go over and you have this. Try to make them even. That's step one. How easy was that? Very easy, right? Step two. You get your fingers and you grab both sides. In this case of the left. And from here, you have the free part of the belt. Going over both and under. And that was step two, right? And now the last step, step three. Step three, last step. You get this, the one that's down, and you make a little loop here. And you get this side, and you go over and under. And the final step, is just tied it really hard and that's how you have your knot and now you are ready to rock and roll move and be very careful once the bell starts coming off a little bit you always have to fix it you always have to check make sure you always look good like me or better Three must no stretches. Sokuto. So foot is in Sokuto position. You're on the side. Chusoku. The ball foot is touching the ground. That's a good stretch for the foot as well. And Kakato. So have your foot on the ground. Got to foot on the ground and then try to be as close to the ground as you can. And then the opposite way. So kuto. And chusoku. And kakato. Then we have the three splits. Send the split and we have one leg in front split and the other leg in front split then you can come back to the center split and touch the whole body down Post. Hi, today we're doing self-defense again. This time it's not always bare hands. There's sometimes weapons involved. So in this particular occasion, my perpetrator, Shihan Daniel, is going to try and strike me with this. So first of all, he sees the weapon on the ground. I can see his intention. I step forward before he actually does anything. I grab his wrist firmly. I draw it into my body to give me extra grip and power. And then I twist it, causing him to have a wrist lock, break his grip, and then attack back. Us. Us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Now that you watch Eva doing her combination, you will find that we also chose those kicks in the combination to be our special kicks for this week. So our three kicks for this week are the back kick, the mawashigeri, and then we have the hook kick to the thigh. So let's work on those kicks this week. Os. Today we'll be working on Joda Mawashigeri, or as it's known as the roundhouse kick, one of the most um, useful kicks, if not the most useful kicks in any combat sport that uh, allows kicks, of course, from uh, non-contact karate to MMA, um, including UFC. So how it works, let's break it down. First, leg comes up, knee comes up, and then the second thing you need to do is basically pivot the support leg. So support leg is turned and the hip is also turned. And now you raise the kick, you bring it back, and then down on the floor safely. So we'll go a bit one more time by count. One, two, three, four. Okay? So now faster. H. Knee. Now this kick is also used for the as known as a low kick or get on mawashigeri. So you kick in the thigh of the opponent. And now we can also kick the body. Especially the rip area, the rip cage area. So let's go again, the ribcage area, and the thigh, kicking the thigh, and kicking the head. Okay, so this is the Joda Mawashigeri. Second kick this week, Wushirogeri. Asia. Okay, so first step, you spin and looking. Second, lift the knee up. Third, release the kick. And fourth, you put it down on the ground where you got it from. Again, one more time. One, two, three, four. Okay, and faster. Asia. And we're aiming for the heel. Os. So we're going to practice three ways. One, the normal way, which means that you come back uh, to where you started the kick from. The second one is 360, you kick and you go 360. And the third one, you come forward. Os. The heel kick to the thigh. Asia. Okay. One more time. Asia. So how it works, you basically aim for the thigh with your heel. Okay, so giving a dead leg or similar reaction as a, as a Gita Mawashigiri or, or a low kick, right? Where you kick with the shin. So how it works, you lift up the leg and you're attacking the thigh. So you're doing this kind of hook and that heel goes exactly on the thigh. Okay? So, so we'll be working on Uraken techniques today. The ones doing the basics, especially for gradings. First one, Uraken Gamenuchi. Hands are here, from the side, looks like this. And at the end, you have this turn. Every time we uraken, you have this flick at the end, in the wrist. Uraken. Uraken is this part here. This is uraken. Okay? So uraken, gabaluchi, H, knee. Now uraken, sayabuchi, to the side, hands are in one line, chest height. And from here, we're going out, and again, flicks. Looking, looking, looking. Okay, next one. Uraken, mawashiuchi. Uraken Mawashiuchi from here, behind, behind, one, two, okay, so one, and flicks, at the end you have this motion here, okay, Uraken Hizouchi, hands are in front, the one that's on top goes to the side, again flicks, and after that comes under, now this one is next in line, and now this one is, okay, so, and the last one, Uraken Uroshiuchi. From here, comes down, and you flick. All of you have hit there with every single one of them. So one, and then two. One, and then two. One, and then two. One, and two.
two. So again, and pa and pa and enjoy the workout. Us. Okay, cut the time again. You know, some people love it, some people hate it. Regardless, we have to do it, especially if you want that black belt. Okay, so, last few weeks we did the first 10 steps of the kata, Tai Kyokusu no Ich. Now, we're gonna do the next six steps. So, we'll be only four steps left for the week after, right? So, here we are, step number 10. That's what we left it at in the previous weeks. Now, we're gonna work from step 11 to step 16, right? So, step number 11. Step number 11 is same as step number three. You take the leg across, and then you are blocking. Every time you're turning, we have a get on the line, right? Remember, make sure the stance got the right width, the right leg, back leg is, is a straight, 45 degree angle. And then step number 12, just turn on the deep. Okay, so number 12. Number 13 is get on the right, the same as number five. Okay, and now this is easy enough from here. Right, we have three punches. Right, so step number 14, 15, 16 and now we are on step 16 with a kiai at the end of it and we only have four steps left so we're done already 16 steps practice them and i'm looking forward for next week to finish off the kata and see everyone do an amazing kata Os. steps one to ten then from that we're gonna go and work a bit slower from count number 11 to 16, right? So, again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is a key on number eight, nine, we're going to three step, ten. Okay, so we're here. Number 10. Now, next six steps from here. Number 11 is very similar to number 3. Take a little bit back. Number 11, and block. Number 12 is just a normal children to be. Okay? Now, number 13 is exactly number 5. Okay? Number 13, and block. Now, from here, we have three punches. One, two, three, similar to the previous three. We're going this way, and it's also key here on number three. Okay, so one of the uh, kicks of choice this week is the back kick. Uh, so uh, Michael, our instructor Michael, is going to show us some of the things uh, we can, you can do with the back kick in uh, Kumite, in fighting. Os. Os. Okay, so with the back push kick, so if the opponent is on this side, it's better if you change your side, right? And then let's say we are doing strike back kick. So we can do it straight from fighting stance. If your distance is enough, you can go back and straight away. But if you see a partner is a bit far away, what you can do is you can step forward and then back kick. And then let's say you on this side, right? Because this is what the fighters usually stands like so from here i take my step forward so he feels nervous now because i'm very close to him so he's gonna have to take one step back and then if he's back he might do some kick or anything maybe punch and go back kick so the reverse ready try again boom like that so now let's move on to the defense back kick which is you're basically waiting for your opponents so he, let's say he has a good mawashigeri and then he uh, does it to the jaw and go and wait but make sure your head goes down so that he can miss, right? Ready and go. Boom! Now, sometimes you can do it even to the chin if you are flexible enough. Maybe you're fighting with a tall person and he does the jaw mawashigeri boom, right to the face. It really depends on your ability. Yes? Os, os. So today we do a fusion, Kyokushin rules, and into uh, um, MMA slash self-defense, okay? 
the technique of choice is my gay or front kick, okay? The front kick is coming, normal front kick, bang. This is what they're aiming for, this is the, the abdomen. So, for tournament, it's coming, blocking, and attack back, right? So, one more time, blocking, attack back. This is a good attack back. You can do other things as well. From here, you can keep going with your attacks. So, from here, this is a block. That. That. And, depends on the technique, you sometimes move slightly to the side too. Okay, that's for tournaments. Another thing for tournaments, if you um, commit the, the opposite arm for it, then you got to go for the inside okay. So sometimes you can grab a little bit in the tournament, a little bit depends. Uh, and sometimes you just go one more time, you just go directly into the Okay? Now for self-defense um, or MMA, um, so kick is coming, so we grab it. Okay, if we end up in this situation now, one situation you, you go here, one you grab something, and you go back, leg sweep, and then from here down. And then from here you go in here, right? And you finish, finish the. Another thing now, another way, kick is coming and you grab it, and you go this way, and then you spin around like this. And again, from here again too. You end up in this situation. Um, now, if you notice, things are useful. Um, for example, in um, the kata, taiki kusono ich. Okay, now we have this, right? This move, this one. Okay, now, what is this one? From here, this is basically the move. Okay, this is the move when I'm grabbing the leg. So, watch again. The move, so watch this foot now, the back leg, turning, and here, right? So there are useful things hidden in the katas. You have to really work hard, and um, yeah, that's just a basic kata, right? The basic kata step. So from here, you're going back, here, right? So have fun with it, practice, and see you next week with a different thing. Us so I have to add something from last week, uh, something to do with the stepping. For example, the Nikki defense last week, one of the Nikki defense uh, was you stepping this way, right? But on the other side, if you're doing with that knee, you have to come in this way, okay? Of course, this is easier this way than this way, right? It's a bit of a step. So these are the steps. So watch the steps again. From here was this. Okay, or this. The idea is don't, we don't want to turn our back to our opponent. That's why we have to go this way around, or this way around. And these steps, you will find them in a lot of things. For example, if he does a get up on washi, this is the step, right? This step is actually forward. It's water, it takes a lot of energy, but it's good to know about it. Another thing too, when it came to, to his again defense, now, it's not just this. Sometimes you also need to rely on this as well. This and this. Because you want to be away from the line of fire. If you just do this, might not be enough. Might not be enough, this. Or even if you turn the whole body, might not be enough. So you will need to go a little bit side. So this step needs to move as well. So we're looking at the, one of the footworks we did earlier, which was this. So it's basically a bit of this and this. So that happens as quick as you can. You don't have much time. So this is the footwork I want you to practice. From here, you go this, which is a simple one, or now you're stepping. And it's good to visualize an opponent in front of you or actually have an opponent in front of you. Or now the more advanced one, you take this on the first step, you take this step slightly away from it. So away from the line of fire, and then you do this, okay? Then here, you have a choice where to put his foot anywhere. So you can put it here or there, just one step, there. And sometimes you can hide the step with a technique, with a kick, or a half kick, a fake, oh, then here. You can use that as a, as a fake as well, fake. Ah. There you go, that way, go that way. Awesome. 
So we'll do some basic combinations, especially for the grading. It's grading uh, time again. Okay, so the simple ones from Senko to Dachi, and we have the three punches forward, Oitsuki. So Oitsuki, 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 and Mawate. Third, get on the right, Oitsuki, 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 turn, and get on the right. Okay, so practice this one. So now we do Ido Genko with the blocks and Gyakutsuki. So again, the usual stuff we do with the dojo. So first step, Joe Nanuke, Gyakutsuki. Second step, Soto Uke, Gyakutsuki. Third step, Uchi Uke, Gyakutsuki. On the turn, Gyakutsuki. Gyakutsuki. Joe Nanuke, Gyakutsuki. Soto Uke, Gyakutsuki. Uchi uke, yakutsuki. On the turn, yamurai, yakutsuki. Os. Another Ido Geiko we're working on is from Yonjugo Kibadachi, 45 degree Kibadachi. And we have Ichiate, Uraken, Kelamurai, and Yakutsuki. Now, Ichiate, hand comes in. Uraken, Uraken comes down, but this one is solar plexus cover. So bang, bang, and get on barai. This hand is down, and gyakutsuki. Okay, so we're stepping in from here. Hijate, uraken, get on barai, gyakutsuki. Hijate, uraken, get on barai, gyakutsuki. So we're gonna do a, a different exercise today, something a bit more fun for the, especially for the children uh, and adults. So we call this caterpillar push-ups. Okay, so one person is in push-up position, the other person is behind. And now with this one, you can do it with more than two people. You can do it with like five or six, right? So then from here, you put your feet on my shoulder, one, and then the other one, two, and I'm in push-up position, and we're gonna do it together by count. Down and up. Down and up, down and up, down and up. So this is a caterpillar push-ups. Now we can do it with this. We can also do a version where we're actually walking forward. The caterpillar is actually walking. So come back a bit, and now we're gonna go forward, right? We're gonna walk forward. It's gonna be synchronized. And the other side. That's it. We're gonna be synchronized. So we can walk together. Let's go walk together. That's it, and then you can do that with a few people. It's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. And that is a lot of fun, and people don't realize they're exercising, right? So this is working the chest, working the core, working the arms. And guess what? You don't know you're exercising. How good is that? You know, this guy's repetition. It's a good one. Post. Us. Hi everyone, as you know from these tutorials already, we always give you some good exercises that we're going to do in the dojo for the week. This week we're going to be doing both burpees. We see a lot of people kind of doing half-hearted burpees and it's really good to start from the absolute basics and understand what you're doing. So first things first, you try and bring your hands as close to your feet as possible. Don't take them out here because that's not what the exercise is about. We're trying to come down and we're trying to get full flexibility and full control. So from here, throw the legs back in the push-up position. Bring the legs back right up into your hands. Come up and jump. So fast. One, two, three, four. Simple as that. Us. So the last exercise for today, we are doing a leg workout. So in this case, side-stepping, but from this stance. So first, first you gotta Get your legs involved. Now the muscles are not working. And from here, we move slowly to the side. We try to keep the same height. Try to go up in height. So you got to go side slowly, side slowly, side slowly. Then back. Then again, this one, with this one, you can do time. But, so now, of course, people that don't really want to work hard, they will try to come up. Or even if you go too low, it's also cheating as well. So you're gonna come up at this point here where the muscles are switched on and they're really feeling like they're gonna, you know, have a good, good, good workout. It's great for your legs and will be great for, your, for our stances when we do things like Kibadachi later on. Then we can maintain it or even say Kutsudachi 
we can maintain it, right? So this is important exercise for your stances. Awesome.